Hello friends, welcome back to Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So I'm just down here feeding feeding the fish once again that are still trapped in the creek because the water is so low because we've still not gotten any rain. There's several different areas where there's fish traps so I just kind of get a big old scoop and then I just walk along the creek and sprinkle some food in the different areas. Of course I sh I'm sure it's not just fish we're feeding. There's crawfish in this creek too. Lots of those boogers. See some of the fish right there. Oh, there is, oh, you're not going to be able to see it, but there is a giant tadpole over there. Oh my goodness. At first I thought it was a snake, but it's a tadpole down in the water. Can you see all the fish coming to eat? So the other day we were out here doing chores and right over there on the other side of the creek is the watering trough for Sophie and Amos and Mr. Smith went and dumped out the water to give Sophie and Amos fresh water and when he did of course the water went across the ground there and a little bitty snake rushed out from under the leaves and started drinking the water. Poor snake. Even though the creek's right here, apparently it hadn't made it down to get some water yet because it was really thirsty. That little bitty thing is called a worm snake and gets its names because that's what it likes to eat is worms. I feel like it's lunchtime. Look at them all. Can you see them all swimming over? Because they heard it. So another reason that I'm really looking forward to some rain is not only because it is so insanely dry and I mentioned the issue we were having with our fence, which I'll talk about that in a minute, but because the water is barely moving and we've got these sort of pools all over the place, it is a mosquito fiesta taking place here. Oh my goodness. Prior to this, we didn't really have too much of an issue with mosquitoes. Yeah, there were some around, but usually in the evenings is when we would deal with them. But now, because the water level is so low and slow moving, you come down here and immediately the mosquitoes are all over you. And honestly, I didn't want to put any bug spray on just because I was only going to be down here for a few minutes to, you know, feed the fish. I didn't want to have to go in there and wash up because I don't like to wear bug spray for too long. Woo! This is the wrong time of day to be filming. It's way too bright out here. <laughs> so I mentioned a minute ago that I was going to share an update about the fencing issue that we're dealing with. Um, I had a lot of great suggestions about some things that we could do to get the fence working, the electric fence. 
uh, just trying to troubleshoot everything. Um, a lot of the suggestions were things that we had already been doing. Uh, for instance, putting water by the grounding rod. Um, we've been soaking it. We, we have a water spigot right by where the grounding rod and charger are. Um, so that ground has been getting water. We actually even yesterday went out there with a sprinkler and ran the sprinkler for a long time to not only soak the soil where the grounding rod is, but also a good portion of where that fence is sitting and it had little to no effect. So our next step, I think, is probably going to be uh, putting in another grounding rod in a different location. Um, somebody mentioned putting a grounding rod right down smack in the middle of the creek. Unfortunately, the creek is much too far away from where the ghosts are, where, the, where their fence is. Uh, Sophie and Amos, whose fence is right down there next to the creek, their fence works great. There is no issues whatsoever with it. It's it's the one up here that the bigger group of goats is in. So we're going to add another grounding rod in a slightly different location. But the other thing I have been thinking about is that our chargers are solar and we live in the woods. And Sophie and Amos's charger is in a very sunny spot. The Bucks charger is in a very sunny spot. Theirs, not particularly. So I think that could be the issue as well. So I think what we'll do for them, in addition to putting in another grounding rod, is move the charger to a spot that has a little bit more direct sunlight. Um, and see what that does. So we will do that and I will report back and let you know if that did the trick.